Hey you guys, it's Rachel here with Sense of Tempo County Corso. So I'm sorry that I haven't uploaded in so long. My daughter um, just started school again and we had to do her school shopping and I just wanted to spend some quality time with her and really kind of get her focused for the new school year and get her mind right. Um, so yeah, so that's what I was doing. But I'm back. Um, so what I wanted to do today, I know a lot of people love um, behavioral stuff, so I wanted to show that. Oh, and by the way, this is my new microphone. Please let me know what you think about it. I sure hope that it works. Good Lord, if it doesn't, I'm in hot water. <laughs> so anyway, so, um, so cashmere is um, officially in what I would call active heat. There's been a lot of swelling that's gone um, going on, and um, and there's been a lot of flirting that's been going on between her and Preacher, and that's actually what I wanted to show you guys today was like the courtship that dogs go through, um, so that you guys can kind of see how this is. And so she's walking around smelling. He has been walking around peeing on everything, marking everything, um, which is what they do. So. He is going to smell her. Um, she's going to smell him. It's kind of what they do. Um, now it is kind of hot, so we may not see as much activity. I may need to do more of like a follow-up, but we'll see here. Let me see what's going on here. I think I need to add, yeah, we do. So I need to add more water to the pool. I asked my daughter to clean it out last night. You can see how well that went. I asked her to, to empty it out and then fill it back up. So, that demon wasp. Shh, Giovanni, get out of it, come on. I'm so scared it's gonna get him. Too close for comfort. Um, so we may not see too much activity right now. I thought we would. Let's see. Let's go to the shade. See if we get some more, some more activity. Yeah, they're both moving to the shade. And you'll find that Preacher will <clears throat> basically maintain an, an orbit. <laughs> for lack of a better word, around her. Um, he isn't gonna let her get far. Um, he's gonna stay by her. And he's gonna keep checking her. He's gonna keep smelling. He's gonna keep checking for whenever she's ready. And, um, and he's gonna keep marking. He's gonna amp up his marking so that no other males in the area try to come around. Um, that nobody gets any ideas. He's gonna be very um, you know, dominant and aggressive as far as protecting his territory. That is going to be amped up since he has a female in season. This is what it's all about for him. Um, so this is what he lives for. So you can see Kashmir coming over trying to play with him a little bit. It's so, it's so hot that there's really not too much that we're probably going to see right now. We'll probably see more this evening. But I at least wanted to kind of update you guys on what's going on. I do have Giovanni out here. I wanted to give Cashmere some time outside. Um, even though, you know, she is in season. She's not quite, She's not even close to being ready to breed yet. Um, and so, uh, and so anyway, so, but she is so hormonal that she's going to be really um, hard to be, to, you know, she's going to be hard to keep around any of the other dogs right now. Males most likely would be fine, but then I would get competition between the males. Um, and so the way that I've always done it is whatever pair is going to be paired up, I will pair them up pretty, pretty, pretty quickly. You know what I mean? Like back whenever I was breeding pit bulls, I had um, a room with a large, um, like an outdoor kennel. And so whenever that would happen, whenever she would actually get into active heat, I would just put them in there together. And that way, 
like all the other dogs are just away from it. Um, there's no competition between males. There's no male that's sobbing and crying and wishing he was in there. The female's not crying and wishing that she was out. You know, they're both happy together, um, ready to do their thing whenever they need to. The male um, can be a little persistent early on when she's not ready, but she will set that boundary. You don't have to worry about it. You know what I mean? Like she will teach him to get off of her until the time is right. Um, see, so see he's over there peeing. So, and that's just what he's doing. He's going to, uh, you know, excessively, obsessively pee on everything and just keep her in his sights and be monitoring her constantly and checking her. As you can see, he's going to go over and he's going to check her out. See, so he's just going to keep checking. He's going to keep moderating. And, um, and that's just what he's going to do. He's just going to be her little satellite <laughs> or her big old satellite until she's ready. Um, and this is a big way that I maintain order is by not, you know, not keeping them together um, in the pack. You know, they're together on their own. And um, so anyway, so that's just how I do it. So Preacher's hot and he's trying to find a nice shady spot. So I'm going to take him inside. I just want to do a quick little thing for y'all since I have been gone. Um, I felt horrible about it, but my baby comes first and I had to, I had to represent on that on that that mamahood side <laughs> and um really give her the prep talk and everything she needs to come to you know to come at high school the right way and so far so good um she's making you know she's um you know making good friends eliminating ones that i really wasn't wasn't appreciative of and you know hopefully that continues lord knows anybody who could tell you 14 year olds oh man <laughs> my daughter and I were talking about anxiety the other day and she was like we we're she was like explaining like what it felt like in this and that and and I knew because I um, have also had anxiety and I've even suffered from um, panic attacks back whenever I was still undiagnosed celiac and um and so anyway so I said you know what Savannah I said I said I know exactly what it feels like I was like you you give me anxiety <laughs> Like every day I'm worried when I get a call from the school. Oh Lord, what is it? You know what I mean? Like it's just, it's just is the way it is. You know what I mean? Like that's just what kids do to you. But they give your life meaning. And I will say that, um, you know, nothing that I did prior to having my daughter mattered the way that having her does. You know, it just, it's a whole nother level of meaning to life. You think you're going to remember the parties and your friends and this and the outings and all that stuff and you just don't it doesn't it fades you know it, it really pales in comparison to family oddly enough I never knew that I wasn't the kind of person who was ever like you know looking forward to having children or anything I was very independent in that way um you know wasn't a Susie homemaker type but I ended up being exactly that <laughs> so and I love it too that's the funny thing is I do I love it but, um, but anyway, yeah, I just, I just love, you know, I love the whole thing and I'm, it just, nothing would make me happier than for her to do well and succeed. And, um, that was, a, that's a beautiful thing. What you doing, Biggin? What are you doing running around like a crazy man? Do you hurt yourself? Oh, I see it. Poor baby. What'd you do to your toe? What did you do, sugar? Come here. He's bleeding. Oh, poor baby. What on earth? I don't know how he cut his toe, but buddy, he did. Oh well. All right. Well, I gotta get. I've literally I've got my workout my workout pants on my shirt, not my not my shoes yet. But I do need to take off and go meet with my with my trainer person. Yeah. It's like whenever I'm in the gym, I'm so motivated. I'm like, yeah, let's do this. And then I get out and I get to work, and I'm like, no. <laughs> I need a break. I'm tired. Ugh. But anyway, whatever. All right. I'm done complaining. I'm going to talk to y'all later. Bye.